We are back with one of the most skilled voices in hip hop, Tariq Black Thought Trotter. He's a rapper, actor, producer, and the Grammy Award winning co founder of The Roots. And of course, you can always catch him here every weeknight as well uh, as the leader of the house band on the Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Coming up on 15 years of doing that, by the way. Now, Tariq is also a writer, he's an author. He's out his, his first book. It's called The Upcycled Self. It's a memoir on the art of becoming who we are. Yeah. That's a great title, by the way. Thank you. We're going to dig into the book in just a minute, but first we're going to shower you with some love. Uh, For folks who who don't know this, Love Letter, your soliloquy. Yes, sir. Grammy nominated now. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Thanks, man. That's a big deal. Thank you, thank you. What was your reaction when you heard the news? Um, You know, it was just really exciting, man. I feel like, you know, so much is happening, you know, all at once. Um, so, yeah, I'm just really, you know, just grateful for the abundance. Um, it's great to be recognized for, like, my first sort of solo endeavor, yeah. not, you know, like, outside of a roots capacity. And also to be nominated for something, um, you know, uh, an acapella piece is just, you know, it's amazing. And for folks who haven't checked it out, I would encourage you to, to do it. I mean, it's essentially a love letter to hip-hop. Yeah, Which, absolutely. of course, is celebrating its 50th anniversary. Yeah. And, oh, by the way, yeah. you just celebrated your 50th yeah, birthday. Yes, sir, yes, That's sir. That's a big deal. Yeah, 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 Happy man. belated birthday. How'd Thank you, you How'd you celebrate? Um, my wife and I took a trip. I was in Mexico. Yeah, you know. How does, how does 50 feel? Um, 50 feels, uh, you know, I don't know. In, in many ways, I feel like I've got more energy now than I did in my 30s. You know, so this is a, I'm, I'm in the middle of a period of, uh, you know, rejuvenation. Yeah. Let's talk about the book. Um, because it's, you, the concept is your upcycled self. Yeah. What, what is that? What does that mean? No, um, the upcycle is, you know, is a person's journey to, you know, just a higher self, right? It's a, it's about self revelation and it's about, you know, really self discovery and, uh, the wisdom that it takes to, uh, know which parts of your past are no longer going to serve you, or at least are no, no longer going to serve you in the same way. So it's about, you know, just, uh, upcycling to a higher value, you know? When the book reads, it's part memoir, but it's it's part self help, and I know that term gets thrown out a lot. Mm-hmm. But was that the intent? Was the intent to write a, a self help book? Um, the, I think the the intent was was more to to write a memoir. But you know, in that in the process, um, you know, it began to reveal itself. You know, just the ways in which this this book could be helpful to folks, and that's what really you know uh, was a, a motivating factor for me to to finish it. A guy like you, who's done so much, accomplished so much, um, you could have written this book 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, but you chose to write it now at 50. Why? Um, I feel like, you know, just it represents where I am in life. You know, I talk about that, you know, just self-discovery, that self, you know, the, the introspection. Um, and, yeah, it's just a, it's a period in, in my life that I'm at right now. You know, it's uh, one of my favorite duos in, in hip hop is is you and your high school pal. Uh, thank you. you could make my, the, mine too. Yeah, yeah you yeah. and the, for folks who don't know you and, and Quest, meet in high school in Philly. You start this little group, uh, and it's turned into to one of the most iconic uh, groups in, in the history of hip hop. What what is your relationship with with Quest taught you about friendship on on this journey? Um, you know, uh, Quest and my relationship has taught me that, you know, true friendship, true, you know, brotherhood is uh, is undying. And, you know, it's something that, you know, lasts forever. And it's something that is definitely not to be taken for granted. You know, um, I talk about in the book how my grandmother always said, uh, you'll go through life, you'll be able to count your, you know, all your true friends on one hand. And, uh, yeah, you know, Quest has uh, proven to, to be above and beyond uh, that level of true friendship, you know. And not to give away too much of the book because we want folks to read it, but yeah. the way that you grew up, very different from the way that Quest grew up. Absolutely. And I, I find that, that contrast makes it even more compelling. Yeah, yeah, you know, they say opposites attract, and I think that was part of the appeal. Um, you know, I think we gave one another entree into a life, you yeah. know, different from our own lived experience. Well, as if you don't see him enough, uh, <laughs> your, your, your boy wanted to send you a message on your book launch day. Oh, uh, wow. Congratulations, finally, words of wisdom in a book from someone not this guy. I'm very happy for you. I'm so glad you're getting your story out there. Congratulations. Welcome to the rest of your life. Oh, <laughs> Tariq, thank you. Thanks for no, being here. Thank you, Cliff. Thanks for having me. And man. thanks for writing the book as well. Love. Thank you, thank you. Uh, the book is called The Upcycled Self, a memoir on the art of becoming who we are. 
That book is out right now. And of course, you can catch Tariq and The Roots on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Weeknights at 1135 Eastern. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.